Josh Boy, Kevin the Victorious, Fur, No Bull Just Bulk, Baby, what's poppin' with you, YouTube? Got my crispy bull's head on tonight. It's good, folk. Long week, getting ready to hit them shoulders. I decided that this particular video, I wasn't necessarily just going to go into somewhat of a instinctive training mode, so to speak. I was actually going to use this particular time to give you guys a very, uh, a very intense shoulder routine that I know for a fact will be overall helpful for not just some of you, but all of you. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm on a mission, obviously, to better improve my status, uh, my physique, and uh, my upper body, as well as my legs uh, for upcoming events such as the show that I'm attempting to uh, do this coming October. Having said that, a lot of us have, a, there's a lot of routines out uh, for shoulders and how to build and develop uh, more full grainy round delts and if you really want to get that nice V taper physique it's not just having uh, wide thick lats and a nice profound back but it is very imperative to make sure that you are hitting all three aspects of your shoulders anterior posterior and medial head of your deltoid that is front medium and back the three sides of your shoulders. It's imperative that you know how to hit all three of them. It's imperative that you hit all three of them equally so that you do not have an imbalance. A lot of us, 90% of us that work out, have major imbalances in our shoulders. And it's very noticeable when we do particular exercises. Overhead barbell press, uh, even sitting doing seated overhead barbell press, a lot of us have a tendency to pronate back a little bit because we can't sit vertical at a straight up and down vertical angle. We have to be at an angle somewhat uh, because we don't have strong rear delts. And it's noticeable when we do those particular exercises because uh, our fronts are so much more dominant over our rears. So uh, having said that, I'm going to give you a very, very overall shoulder routine uh, that I've been doing, that I'm, that I am currently doing, that I know for a fact is going to help a lot of you guys. Uh, and this is not, this is not for the weak at heart. If you are new to the gym, this may not be for you. But be ye not afraid. Dive in, man. Uh, go in with the weight that you can optimally use, that you can use, that you can. You don't have to like manipulate. You know, go in with the weight that you can handle. Uh, you can try this too. Uh, but for most of you, man, this is an overall, just a dynamic, dynamic shoulder routine that I'm uh, incorporating. I want to give it to you guys. So having said that, we're going to go ahead and dive off into this. Um, hopefully, <clears throat> I can relay the information that I need to to help benefit you all uh, in this aspect. If you are an advanced uh, lifter, then, you know, hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, if you know more than me, that's great. Leave some tips, that, leave some comments in the section below. Uh, but if not, and you want to be a smart mouth and you got, you know, negativity to speak, uh, shut the fuck up. Simple as that. <laughs> anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoy this, man. Uh, this is going to be a phenomenal video for me to make. I enjoy training with intensity. This is not going to be, like I said, this is not going to be... Uh, just instinctive training, but there's a method to this madness. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this, man. At some stage in your life, you're going to have to stand up in whatever position that you're in. And you're going to have to set the standard. Simple as that, man. You cannot let other people set the standard for you in your life. Especially on this particular journey. Uh, things that you're trying to do, places you're trying to go, goals that you want to accomplish. If you want to accomplish them goals, man, at some point... You have to decide that I do not want to be the ordinary guy in the gym anymore. I want to be extraordinary, and I want to set the damn standard. Don't let nobody else set the standard for you. In order for you to reach your goals, man, you got to stand out. Do things that don't make you feel comfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. Step out of that. Go outside the box. Step out a little further. Go a little harder. Push yourself. That, that feeling that you get when you're in the gym and you're doing whatever it is that you're doing and you feel like, 
I can't do no more. When you feel I, I, I'm about to break, I can't, I just, I can't handle this no more. You want to cry, you want to break down or whatever it is. That point right there, at that moment right there is when you need to set the standard. That's when you push yourself past the barriers, the mental barriers that you already have and become something more uh, extraordinary, somebody that you have never been before. So having said that, man, we've been ready to get down here and go smash these shoulders. Stay tuned, man. This is going to be an epic video for me, man. Hopefully, it's something that you guys enjoy. I appreciate every one of y'all, man. Thank you for all the love and support. It definitely does not go unnoticed, man. You know how we do it. When we make it do what it do, baby. It's time to smash these shoulders. Oh! Stop making excuses, baby. Make them games. Let go! Thank you uh, for all the love and support. Thank you for checking into this video. Uh, if you like this video or any other video, by all means, man, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, give it a thumbs up and share the videos, man. That's the only way we can grow the channel is that you share the good news to the good people so they know what's going on out here and uh, help, them, uh, help them join uh, this Taro Fit revolution. So they can get some of this good news and this good knowledge. You feel me? Anyway, man, uh, enough of the BS. And I appreciate you guys checking in with me. And thank you for all the support, man. I, I really do appreciate that. You all know that building shoulders is uh, one of the epicenters of bodybuilding and fitness all together. It is one of them things, man, that most people, you either, it's not a, either you have it or you don't, uh, but for the most part, uh, you need to have this uh, as a part of your physique. You need to have this in your wheelhouse. Uh, and when I say either you do or you don't, it's simply this. Either you know how to train delts or you don't. You either know how to grow them or you don't. There's no secret magic potion. There's no secret uh, insiders trade, like bodybuilders trading secret type nonsense or coaches, elite, uh, insider, you know, training format that you don't, there's none of that, all right? Either you know how to train it or you don't. You either do it right or you do it wrong. Uh, those of you that have done it wrong, you're not growing and you get hurt. Those of you that do it right, you notice progress, process. You trust the process, you notice progress, and you begin to grow delts, and you start to have a nice, formed physique there's a good there's a good way to incorporate instinctive training along with uh, just a nice scheduled process and what I mean by that you got a you got a nice plan that you go into the gym with a four to, uh, uh, you know doing four sets of ten uh, five sets of six whatever the hell your plan is all right there's a good way to sometimes just do away with the schedule and just stick with the instinctive training man that pays that really pays off a lot and, I, and sometimes I have to control myself because a lot of times I just want to go instinctively. But there are times when you don't need to do instinctive and you just need to run off of a set program. And uh, what we have here is a little bit of both. First exercise, you guys know I like to pre, it's like pre-exhaustion. Uh, warming up your shoulders, warming up chest, warming up quads, hamstrings, calves, biceps, triceps, eyelids, eyebrows, earlobes, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're training is very good to preload. So what you see here, you know I, I love getting on these, uh, these uh, plate-loaded hammer strength uh, machines for pre-exhaustion, man, and pre-exhaustion and pre-load. Basically just pre-loading that, those shoulders and getting those, those uh, getting that, that rotator cuff warmed up and pre-loading those shoulders, front, mid, and, and back delts, just getting them full of blood 
uh, just getting them engorged, ready to put in some work. All right, now that we are off, now that I jumped off of the shoulder machine, as you know, the, the, the shoulder press, uh, we go, I go straight over here to the Smith machine and I dive right into rear, behind the neck, shoulder presses. A lot of guys are afraid of doing these. A lot of people don't even like to mess with it, but there is a way that you can do this the proper way without hurting yourself. And as you can see right here, I absolutely love the Smith machine because it gives you a it gives you a wide variety of things that you can do. Those of you that are that that can't do behind the neck standing military press or you can't do the seated behind the neck military press and you would like to and you would like to involve this in, inside your training then by all means the Smith machine is a very versatile piece of equipment that can help you do things that you normally couldn't do with free weights and uh, it behooves you to try and incorporate this machine in a lot of your training because it will help you in more ways than one so as you can see a proper way of doing behind the neck Obviously, when you set up your bench, you don't want it too far away and you don't want it too close, but you want to you just measure it just right. And when you come down, you don't want your arm so close to your head that when you come down, your, your forearm is at an angle. You absolutely want, when you come down, with the weight, you want your arm to be straight up and down in a vertical position and going back up. What we don't want to do is go too far down. I highly suggest that you do not pass your ears, or if you think that's too far, stop right at the crown of your head. And that is a good position. Get a nice squeeze in the aspect, and then go right back up. This is not a pop and fire. This is a nice control negative, control positive, control negative, eccentric, eccentric, all of that good stuff. Control down and control back up. So um, the biggest hindrance in the gym, the biggest, the, the biggest obstacle is you. There's no other obstacle that can stop you from gaining any kind of uh, advancement. The, the only thing that's shutting you down from reaching your goal is you. Only you can determine how far you go and only you can determine uh, how far you don't go. So what we did right here, what you see me doing, uh, I grabbed two dumbbells. A lot of you are, are, are familiar with the Arnold Press, all right? But this right here is a, is a different type of Arnold Press, and this is going to help you get a nice full, round, grainy, gritty, hard, full shoulder appearance. So incorporate these into your next shoulder routine. This right here is a close grip dumbbell front press for front delts. And I'm telling you right now, if you do not have a solid core, this is going to press you on your core. And if you do not have a strong back, obviously you need to do something to use, utilize a belt to support your back. I, I train with the belt on as it is now to help bring my, my, my midsection in and to help my breathing when I'm on stage posing uh, during my competition. So what we have here is a close grip uh, front press with 35 pound dumbbells. I'm doing this for about 10 for about 10 to 15 reps. Do what you can do. If you can only utilize 20 pounds, start off small. Do not go heavy. You will notice that it has a lot. It will, it will challenge your stabilization muscles to the core. Alright, so make sure that you get a nice weight that you can utilize. You got a nice sturdy bench that you can sit on. We're doing, I'm on the incline bench but make sure that you have weight that you can optimally use and not have to manipulate yourself because if you are not careful, shoulders is the one thing that you do not want to play around with. If you do something wrong, it can really jack you up. So make sure that you get a weight that you can, that you can manipulate, that you can utilize, and you can move the weight properly, all right? I'm doing four sets, all right? So my first two sets, we're doing close grip press uh, front, and that's gonna build a nice, nice fat bulge on that front interior delt, all right? So we go up, we come down, we get about 10 to 12 reps in here, and then we're gonna superset. 
Always superset, 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 superset. You want to grow, superset. You don't want to grow, don't superset. But if you want them big ass bulging delts, you got to superset. So we superset it here. All right, and what you see me doing right here, again, we're doing close grip together, all the way up, all the way back down, all the way up, all the way back down. When you're done with your last rep, there is no break in between here. We stand right back up, get out of the seat, stand up, all right, and you're doing the traditional auto press. And what this is gonna do, that first uh, seated close grip press is gonna hit the interior, but what this is gonna do, the stand is gonna not only hit the interior, but you're gonna get the lateral head, and you're also gonna get just a tiny bit of the rear, but we're not focused on rear right now. So we're hitting the front, and we're hitting the side with the auto press, and again, this is also gonna help tighten up that core. All right, so we did these for about, I did these for about four sets, and then I superseded this with another exercise. So what you want to do is actually get a full all-around uh, training routine for not on the front, this is going to hit the side, and this is also going to hit the rear delts uh, throughout the entirety of this uh, routine. So once we got done with that, we went on to my, I went on to my next exercise. guys so um, once I got done uh, once I got done with that particular exercise we just I just kept it moving and you give yourself about a 30 second no more than 30 second rest so it went straight from this went back okay into that front press and this exercise that I'm about to show you guys right here this is for the ages baby this is this right here is my money maker this is probably the best rear delt exercise that I have done that I have felt in a long friggin time like there ain't nothing else that I can tell you right now that I put on that I put on any video that I've done in any training routine that works better that has hit my rear delts as effectively as this has I'm not saying everything else is garbage but nothing has hit like this so what you see right here after I've done my front close grip press, I sit right back down and I'm drop setting now with a lower amount of weight. Listen to what I'm saying. Do not utilize any more weight than a 20 pound dumbbell on this particular exercise. This right here, <laughs> this motherfucker's shit. This right here, this right here is an incline rear delt fly. And let me tell you when I when let me tell you this, when you're when you hit this for the first time, when you hit this, those of you that don't have rear delts, when you hit this for the first time, you're gonna fall in love with this joint or you're gonna hate it. One of the two. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And when you feel the pump that you get when you get done with doing this, I swear to God, you're gonna love this shit. So basically, what you do here, obviously, as you can see. You want to lean, you make sure that you're all the way back in the seat. Now, you do not want to force your arms behind you. You just want to let them naturally hang. Let gravity build this muscle for you. Let gravity build this muscle for you. All you have to do is the work. What this incline bench is going to do, it is completely going to take the front delt out of the, out of the, uh, out of the game. It's taking your legs out of the game. It's taking any body English that you have out of the game. If you have never felt your rear delt before and you do this particular exercise, you are going to feel them on this. 100% guaranteed or your money back. God damn, I love these ones, they hot. I'm telling you they the shit. They were so bad, even she was like. And those are no joke. You're a bad MF for the people too. <laughs> you gotta be one bad motherfucker to do that. <laughs> anyway, man, I love these, man. Please incorporate these in incline rear delts, and they will get your rear. They will get the your rear delts on fire. I'm telling you, this is not an exaggeration. I'm not overhyping this. This is truth. This is truth, my friend. This is truth. Alright, 
so once I got done with these, um, I'm all about supersetting, man. All about growing this muscle as best I can is supersetting this. Superset is the way to go for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, supersetting is the way to go, man. So once I got done with these incline rear flies, uh, rear lateral raises, uh, I jumped up immediately, grabbed a 25 pound plate, and then I did, as you can see, I did close grip upright rows with a kick out. And what this is gonna do, obviously this is gonna target rear delt, this is gonna target your trap, uh, obviously this is gonna get your rhomboids involved, but it's also uh, gonna engage when your elbows are flared out, this is gonna engage the lateral head of both, obviously of both delts. And then when I do the kick out, this is gonna cover the front delt. So this is an overall compassing uh, exercise here. So once I got done with this, uh, I often like to end my, my shoulder training with a nice uh, cable session. So what I did was we brought the bench over here to the uh, to our cable, brand new cable set that they put in the gym. And what I'm doing here, because I really want to focus on my rear delts, uh, my, my lateral head isn't bad, my front tear, you, you know, you got the front delt with that little teardrop. That doesn't look bad, but it's my rear delts, like everybody's that is lagging. So this is particularly focusing on rear delts uh, for the entire, for the duration uh, of this training session. So uh, what you see me doing here is I grab this bench, uh, sat it in front of the, uh, the cable machine, and with about 15 pounds on each side, what you see me doing is like a rear delt cable crossover. And the reason why I brought this bench into play is because I wanted to take out as much English, body English as I could and really fo focus on that isolation of that rear delt. And that's exactly what this is gonna do. Especially when you don't have the ability to stand and bounce and jerk to kind of move and manipulate the cables to move you actually have to engage more core and you have to engage those rear delts uh, to actually move the weight. And that is why uh, I threw this in for about five sets. And I actually did a burnout set to about 12 to 15. If, I, if you can get up to 20, so be it. But my arms were so shot at this point, uh, I couldn't get beyond 15 reps. So I did about five sets of this and just repped it out until the end and stretched as much as I could. but. Uh, I, I was thoroughly impressed with this particular uh, training session. I was thoroughly impressed with the overall uh, session period. Like this was probably one of the best ones that I've had in a long time. So that right there, my friends, I apologize if this video was too long for some of you, but you know I like to explain everything in detail so that I can help you all grow uh, the same way that I, that I find myself growing. So. Uh, I, I, I will definitely can't wait to get back in the gym and do this again uh, to incorporate more. There is going to be a second uh, training series on this uh, for growing uh, for growing delts, not just rear, but we're going to focus on lateral head as well and getting some more isolation movement in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. I, I thoroughly enjoyed making this video. I love making these training videos for you guys. Hopefully this will benefit one of you. And you guys can incorporate this in your routine. If you do, by all means, man, please leave your comments in the box below. Let me know how it works for you. If you have a suggestion that could work better for something that I've showed you, man, I'm not a proud guy like that. I love to chop it up and I love to learn new things. So if you know something that I don't, by all means, man, share the knowledge. That's what we're here for. So thank you guys for checking in with me, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Everybody, man, that's been showing me love and grinding with your boy, man, I appreciate that. That love definitely does not go unnoticed, man. So thank you again, man. Again, if you like the video, by all means, man, hit that like button, man. Please hit the like button and share the video, man. And if, and if you can, man, just leave a comment in the box below, man. Thank you guys again, man. It's your boy. Oh, Kevin the Vectars. No bull, just bump. Baby, popping off with them big ass dudes. Killing them shows one by one. That's not. <laughs> yeah, baby, love y'all, man. In my mouth.
Get down.